right, I don't really want to spend my days talking about GB news, but it seems that is realistically the only news outside this government's bullshit, so I better cover it. A lot of you have been telling me about it, so here it is. We all know at this point the woke wankers on Twitter are doing their best to boycott it for no other reason than they're just sort of it exists. This boycott appears to be led by the usual activist Tosspots and even a former BBC trout, which will obviously shock few of you, but is funny all the same. Now of course some of these companies bowed down to this baseless outrage over GB News, which is an Ofcom regulated mainstream media channel. Let me say it again for anyone who struggles to process basic fucking English, GB News is an Ofcom regulated mainstream media channel. In that sense it's on par with the BBC, ITV and Sky News, but just not as woke or openly as woke at the moment. Like I've said many times, I remain sceptical it won't just become the BBC 2.0, but for now the perpetually outraged tosspots are labelling it the right wing devil. Personally, if you ask me, GB News should give Donald Trump a daily slot to fully sort mine these deluded spunk trumpets into real shit fits of rage, but I don't really think that's likely to happen, do you? But as I said, some have now boycotted ads on the channel, why others said they would review them, but funniest of all is the fact that some are now backtracking on their original stance likely due to the backlash by you guys who in return decided you would stop buying their products. Companies will often do this because as I've said and most of you know, money talks and bullshit walks, or in this case woke bullshit walks, because one advertiser even said they would increase ads on the channel after positive returns from the few ads that they have done. Calling GB News a breath of fresh air because people are actually sick to death of the BBC Sky News, Channel 4 and all the rest of these snivelling shit weasels. Now this will naturally bring out lots of salty tears on Twitter, which is of course is always fun to laugh at as you know. Shit, I was actually laughing at a couple of them while I was sorting out a video talking about the government's backtracking and possibly allowing VIPs to enter the country. Seeing some of the salty fuck pigs crying their eyes out over this certainly made dealing with that a lot more fun. But guys, before I go, remember the channel's website is linked down below for you to check out, along with my BitChute and Odyssey channels should YouTube shit can me, which is always possible these days.